How's it dripping, Tink? Beautiful, beautiful. Any trouble with the valves, Will? No, we got it, Groot. Smooth. Let's see that finished product, huh? Hey, Will! Can't you keep that still quiet? You'll have the skipper on our backs for sure. Why the panic? He knows we make the stuff all the time. Yeah, only this time I don't know how much we're making and who we're making it for. Hey, Groot. What is it? Give me one of those breathless bourbon labels, will you? You're kidding. Those Marines ordered scotch. The master works. A dash of iodine for taste. Another dash for age. Presto, scotch. Hey, whatever it is, these guys are sure in a hurry to pick it up. Ah, they're coming in by boat. They're not doing until the night. Hey, those engines are sick. It sounds like he's trying to make a forced landing at the main base. Hey, group. Yes, Skip? Hey, you got another bottle of that, that jungle juice? Coming right up. Here you are, sir. Compliments to your friendly neighborhood bootlegger. Now you set for ice on a little chaser. Are you kidding? You don't think I drink this stuff, do you? <laughs> hey, our food, your hair tonic. And uh, give me about three fingers worth. I'll stop. <laughs> okay, girls. <laughs> Side carpenter, that transport coming in on one engine like that. I hope Admiral Hanson's son is all right, sir. Of course he's all right. Tell you, the gods of war are smiling on us today. <laughs> if the Admiral hadn't decided to evacuate his boy from Australia back to the States, and if that plane hadn't been forced down here, huh? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carpenter, we've been tapped by the fickle finger. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> what finger was that, sir? Fate, you numbskull. <laughs> When the Admiral finds out that it was my airstrip and my island that saved his boy from being barracuda bait, well, could lead to anything, huh? Maybe even a job on the Admiral's staff. Brucey boy, so nice to have you drop in on us like this. I'm Captain Binghamton. This is my aide, Lieutenant Carpenter. Delay the chatter, Binghamton. What? I thought this base was supposed to be at combat readiness. Oh, uh, combat readiness. Uh, oh, well, we are. We, uh... Then why wasn't our plane challenged when we made our approach? <laughs> and why aren't you wearing sidearms? Uh, oh, sidearms. Well, uh, I'll tell you, Sonny, the reason that I... Uh, the carpenter, why aren't we wearing sidearms? <laughs> Don't blame him, Binghamton. No. My father won't know where to place the responsibility. Uh, I'll bet this Jeep hasn't been washed in a week. Oh. <laughs> have to make a note of the license and serial number. Yeah, you make it up. Uh... <laughs> hey, he's, uh, he's an interesting little tyke, isn't he? <laughs> hey, just my sense of humor. He keeps... <laughs> yes, sir, the court-martial should be hilarious. <laughs> yes, sir. The court-martial? Who's court-martial? Uh, yours, sir. I hate to tell you, sir, but that little black book has torpedoed more naval officers than the entire Japanese fleet. Oh, come off that lieutenant. What could that have quite possibly do to me? Why, 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 why. Well, I don't know, sir. Uh, but the last reserve officer that tried to laugh him off got a new assignment in the Aleutians. A one-man weather station in an igloo. <laughs> I tell you, Carpenter, you could not possibly have seen the Admiral's son in the galley. Just ten minutes ago, I personally saw him in the motor pool. But he moves awfully fast, sir. Don't panic. That's the important thing. Don't panic. After all, he's just a normal, inquisitive little boy. Not according to what that pilot said, sir. And, Captain, 
I'm allergic to igloos. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised at you, Carpenter. No officer worth his salt would let that little junior G-man push him around. Now, you listen to me. Admiral son or no Admiral son, if he gets his nose so much as one inch out of line, I'm going to... Oh, Brucey, it's so nice of me to drop in, you know, Brucey. <laughs> This isn't a social call, Captain. Oh. I just dropped in to borrow a pencil. Mine's worn out. <laughs> that very security monitor on Terra 2 by you, Captain. I noticed you've neglected to install blackout curtains in the crew's laundry. <laughs> blackout curtains in the crew's laundry? Now, you listen to me, you little bunch of blackout curtains in the crew's laundry. <laughs> if you don't? I'm sure the next commanding officer will. <laughs> the next commander, he'll do it. Captain Binghamton, I'm afraid my father goes strictly by the book. <laughs> Captain Binghamton, my father goes strictly by the book. I'd give ten years of my life to use that book against the seat of his pants. If you do, sir, could I watch out? Oh, shut up. It's a grown-up him, that's all you are. How long is it going to take to fix that plane? It'll take about four days to fly in the replacement parts. Oh, four days. He'll have enough notes to fill an encyclopedia by then. Look at that, chapter three, right up there. Yes. You would think if it hadn't been for your airstrip, sir, he could have been barracuda bait. <laughs> I wouldn't wish him on a poor defenseless barracuda. I wouldn't wish him on my worst enemy. I... Come to think of it, why wouldn't I? Well done, old loyal and noble friend. Okay, guys, let's stash the happy water before the skipper spots us. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, you wait, balls. What do you guys think you're doing? <laughs> Nothing, Skipper. Just brushing up on a little close order drill. That'll be the day. Hey, you guys got enough jungle juice here to float a cruiser. <laughs> Come on, Groove. What's the bit? Well, uh, would it do any good to say we were going to let it sit and age? <laughs> well, Skip, there's no use trying to con you. We got a couple of boatloads of Marines coming to pick up the stuff right after sundown. <laughs> if that wouldn't frost your bilges, you guys lost your marbles. You could be hung for a stunt like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, no, they couldn't skip. Why, our Navy has outlawed hanging ever since 1812. <laughs> no, it was 1712. No, wait, it was the British Navy. All right, all right, sir. Look, it's too dangerous. I'm not going to let you do it. It'd be more risky if we don't. Those gyrenes paid cash in advance for this hooch. Skip, if we don't deliver, they'll feed us to the sharks. Hey, Skipper! Hey, condition red! Captain Biggerton's gig is approaching! Oh, all, right. Right. All, right. All, right. all right, all right, all right, hold it. Now, wait a minute. Look, get rid of that still. Stash this stuff, I don't care where. Fuji, head for the hills. Chuff, you come with me. We'll stall him as long as we can. What are you standing around for? Get going! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hey, Chuck, get a load of that. He's got a kid with him. Yeah, maybe it's a new ensign. Taking them awful young nowadays, Skip. What? <laughs> Hello there, Captain. Good to see you again. Oh, thank you. The pleasure's mutual, Mikhail. And we have a little visitor here. Oh. Uh, Brucey, may I present Commander Mikhail as Ensign Parker? This is Admiral Hanson's son, Bruce. Oh. And Admiral's... Well, uh, how are you, son? Uh, sir, sir, son. <laughs> well, uh, any son of the Admiral's is a sir of ours. Uh, hi, Bruce. Uh, welcome aboard. <laughs> Aren't you out of uniform, Commander? I have to make a note of that for my father. Oh, yes. Uh, here, uh, allow me. Uh, you... Oh, uh, Bruce's plane was forced down here, emergency landing. You see, while they're fixing it, I thought I'd take him on a little sightseeing tour, especially the sights that might interest his father. Oh. Gentlemen. Would you say those are rust spots on the depth charge racks? Ah, oh, yes, gentlemen. Would you say that? Oh, oh no, sir, Captain Bainter. Why, those are grease stains. <clears throat> the rust spots are up on the torpedo tubes. Right? <laughs> Spots, get those painted. Somebody paint those. Yes, you have somebody do that, Parker. In the meantime, Brucey, shall you and I run along? I don't think there's anything worth seeing here. <laughs> if you don't mind, Captain, this place looks very interesting. 
As a matter of fact, I think I may even spend the night. Oh, spend the night. He thinks he might spend the night. <laughs> That's probably out of the question, isn't it, Mikhail? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Completely out, Harold. We have, we have no uh, guest facilities here, sir. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Huh? Uh, well, that, that's my hut. You can send my things over in the gig as soon as you get back. Mm, that won't be necessary, Sailor. <clears throat> there you are, my boy. That's a true example of terror tube efficiency. We're ready for an emergency at all times on this page. Yes, Ensign, take the Admiral's son to his quarters. Stop lively, boy. Stop lively. Come on, Sonny. Uh, Sonny, sir. <laughs> No, 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 wait a minute. Now, we're running a PT base here, not a, not a PTA. Ah, uh, uh, tut-tut, Mikhail, have fun. And then if our little friend runs out of pencils, I'll send over a fresh supply in the morning. Sailor. <laughs> ta <laughs> Okay, Skipper, all booze hidden and accounted for. Hey, who's that kid, Skip? If you're referring to that pint-sized shickle gruber, the captain planted him here as a stool pigeon. <laughs> you're kidding. Who'd listen to a little squirt like that? His father, who just happens to be Admiral Hanson. The area commander? Fine time for him to show up. Well, we gotta get rid of him, Skip. Those gyrenes will be here at sundown. It won't be that easy. He already took over my hut for the night. Well, at least he'll be out of the way for your hut. But Skip, he can't go in there. That's where we hit the hooch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Well, I suppose you want to put your stuff over here in the closet. <laughs> uh, probably the drawer would. <clears throat> well, uh, let's, uh, let's put your stuff over here in your bunk. This will be yours. You can uh, just kind of. <laughs> what was that? What was what? I didn't hear any bottles. <laughs> Uh, uh, speaking of bottles, uh, how about us going over to the main base and uh, having a soda pop here, Sonny? I'm not thirsty. Oh. Then how about hopping over to the base theater and taking in a movie? Mm. I hate movies. But it's a western, a real good one. This time the Indians win. <laughs> I'd like to see that myself. You <laughs> don't seem to be in an awful hurry to get rid of me, only it won't work. I don't know what you're trying to hide around here, but whatever it is... I'll find it. Happy <laughs> follow him. What do I have to follow him, will you? I wonder if there's any regulations against strangling an admiral's son. Skip pas on. Skip pas on. Oh. Ghost clear? No, no, no. That little monster's a son of an admiral. You can say that again. Yeah. Uh, you, you stay back there in the jungle and, and, and we'll give you the word when the coast is clear. Back in jungle? This show one lousy way to live up to Geneva Convention. All right, so write your congressman. <laughs> well, there we are. Right behind the eight ball. I mean a hundred proof eight ball. Oh, right, those chimes are getting closer every minute. We gotta get rid of that brat before they show up. Why don't we invite him for a little swim in the lagoon? It's crawling with crocodiles. Ah, the crocodiles only throw him back. Ah, uh, I got a better idea. Why don't we invite one of them native head shrinkers over? Instead of having him just shrink the kid's head, we'll have him shrink the whole kid. <laughs> hey, yeah. Then we can mail him home to his dad, put a stamp on him and... Hey, 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 hey. You just cued me onto something there, Groob. Gather around here, you head shrinkers. <laughs> Noise. Why, the, the natives seem restless. Oh, come on, Commander. This is a naval base. Oh, true, true. But those Polynesian boys are pretty hot tempered fellows. Uh, they never could forgive us for taking over their island. <laughs> uh, Terry Hattie Bottle Spear, yeah. Oh, dear. They're heading for the hills. Cut them off with the pass, man. <laughs> Come on, boy, let's get out of here. Oh, dear. Oh. A native skipper decorated in war paint. Hey, hi, Taylor, that away. Which way? That away. Yeah. Yeah. A winged one of them. He dropped this. Oh. oh, not in front of the boy, Skip. It's an awful sight. He's right, sir. Spare the child. What's so terrible about a set of dog tags? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Why, it's, it's Lieutenant Commander Irving. Holy cow, and all the time we thought he was AWOL. <laughs> what a way to go. You heartless savages! Yeah, you no good! <laughs> Boy, this is worse than I thought. The natives are rising it could mean total war. Sounds like thousands of them, sir. Sounds like they're going to attack. 
Mr. Parker, prepare to defend the island. Man the batteries. Why, evacuate all civilians from the island, yes? Right, Skip. Prepare to defend the island. Man all batteries. Evacuate all civilians. Gee, I love that kind of talk. Now, Cooper, uh, see if the Admiral's son gets back to Tower Trooper. Uh, yes, sir. Come on. Get in the hall. Look you want it. The gig happened by. Come on, kid. Gig is waiting. Skip us out. Skip us out. Oh, skip us out. Skip us out. Oh, no. Skip us out. Need to give us the They will whoop us. Not so fast. <laughs> I want to have a closer look at this. This. Uh, native, native. He, he's a native who works for us. Yes. <laughs> he looks Japanese to me. Oh, well, uh, that's because he's in disguise. Is that right, uh, Lotus Blossom? <laughs> Is that so? Three thousand of them. I said we're outnumbered five hundred to one. I think you're all lying. And I'm going to stay right here until I find out what's going on. Skipper, condition red. We just received a signal from Mainside. Terratrooper radar just picked up a NIP submarine headed this way. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, General Quarters, uh, uh, prime the engines, uh, prepare to get underway. <laughs> Skipper, the alert's for real. For real? Oh. All right, Lotus Blossom. Let's get back to your village. Come on, let's go. Come on, you guys, let's go. Uh... Here, you get your tail on that gig and get back to Tara Tupa. But I... Don't butt me. Get back there. Go on. Go. All right, you guys. Come on. Get the lead out. Get your gear. Let's go. Sailor, see if this boy gets back to the main base. Right. Goodbye, young admiral, sir. <laughs> hey, kid, that's the wrong boat. Shove off, Swabby. Are you kidding? He said that... Sailor, who would you rather have press charges? A crummy ensign... Or an admiral's son. Shove off! Ah, uh, bring her left, Christy. We'll make another sweep. Uh, bring her left, Skip. Sonar contact, Skipper. Bang 274. Range 3000. <laughs> Thanks, Willie. I'll see ya. All right, steady as you go. All hands, jail quarters. Prepare to fire depth charges. Range 2500. Oh, no! <laughs> Let me go! Oh, my God! Skipper, you have to be in on everything. I rate charges for 30 feet. Skipper, wait! We got us a little visitor. Oh, boy. What in the blazes is this? Just looking for a little action, Commander. Where's the saw? This ain't the living end. Chuck, take him down below and see that he stays there. Oh, Skip, the saw, my metal. We can't go charging a sub with a kid aboard. Christy, come around to your left and let's go home. You can't do this, Mikhail. Cowardice in the face of the enemy. That's a court martial offense. Chuck, take him down below before he gets hurt. Hi, <laughs> right, Skip. Come on, little, uh, Sir. <laughs> You're a disgrace to the Navy, Mikhail. My father will have you in irons. Yo, come on, you Let me go, will you? All right, now look, you get in there and don't argue with me. <laughs> and stay there. See, Admiral Hansen, with the 73 on her tail, that nip sub just might as well call it a war. <laughs> you want to try it, sir? <laughs> all right, all right. Look, Dingleton, I flew in here to get my son. Oh, well, I keep telling you, Admiral Hansen, your son is perfectly safe. He's over on Mikhail's Island. CT 73 to Teratupa Control. Hello? Hello, Teratupa Control. Now, who's that on the horn? Who, who, who? I don't know. Sir. I don't know. If I didn't know better, I'd swear it was my son. Control. Mikhail won't fight. He's running from the enemy. Tell Captain Binghamton. Tell the Pentagon. Tell my father. It is Bruce. I'm a 73 in combat. Binghamton. You had better have a good explanation for this. Uh, 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 yes, sir. I'd better have a, a good explanation for this, sir. Well, well here I am. Is that your idea of safe and sound? Is it? Speak up, man. Speak up. 
Uh, yes, sir. I, I, I speak up. I would, he would help. <laughs> Uh, looks like we've given Tojo the slip. Take over for a minute. Chuck him on below. All right, sir. Hey, how's everything down here? Judge on control. Repeat. Mikhail is running from the enemy. <laughs> Darn it. Breaking radio silence while we're trying to get away from the nips up. Is that all you can worry about? Hiding from the enemy? Listen to me, you little Lord Fort Leroy. Maybe my men ain't GI enough to suit you, but there ain't a man among them would go out in, a, in combat with a 12-year-old spoiled brat aboard. Chuck! Yes, Chuck! Look, you keep him out of my hair. Entertain him, do anything you want. Drown him! But don't let him get in my way, you hear me? Right, Skip. Uh, uh, don't you think drown's a little dangerous? I mean, you can work it out. All right, you heard the skipper. Now sit down. Who's gonna make me? Well, uh, they told me to. Please? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> about a game of uh, casino? Take your mind off the battle. <laughs> well, uh, I don't want to play casino. I don't want to take my mind off the battle. <laughs> <laughs> Torpedo off the point bow. How to stop it? How to stop it, sir? <laughs> that was a close one. Uh, looks like she's got us zeroed in. We'll have to fight. Okay, stand by, depth charges. Hard to port. Hard to port, sir. <laughs> Keep calm. Hard depth charges. <laughs> hey, Skip, look. There she blows. Okay, man your deck guns, boys. Looks like we're gonna take some prisoners. <laughs> Speaking of prisoners, I wanna go down and see how that monster's doing. I'll be right back. How you doing down here, Chuck? Oh, oh there we go, Skip. Well, we just playing a little casino, relaxing our nerves. <laughs> oh. Well, we KO that sub there, sonny boy. <laughs> Despite you. How about writing that down in your little black book there? Yeah. Hey, what are you writing? Well, you're in big trouble, Ensign. Gambling aboard ship, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. <laughs> you know, you've been asking for it, boy, and now you're going to get it. Come over here, you. Come over here. Give me swinging room now, Chuck. Commander McHale? Yes, sir. Congratulations, Commander. I'll see that you and your crew receive a unicitation for what you have just done. You will? I mean, you will, sir? Uh, thank you very much, sir. But the truth is, sir, we were running away from that sub. I wasn't referring to the sub, Commander. I was speaking about the well-deserved spanking you gave my son. <laughs> well done, McHale. Had the book, the book. Show him the little black book before it's too late. Father? I have a whole list of charges against these men. Enough to court-martial every one of them. Not only that, but there's a very suspicious-looking native... I'm what? sick of you and your little black book. Now shut up and get into the gig, or I'll paddle you myself. <laughs> You're a credit to the Navy, sir. If I have any more trouble with my son, I'll send him back to you. Yes, sir. Any time, sir. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye, sir. Ta-ta, Captain. Ta-ta. <laughs> well, what are you guys waiting for? Tea time. 